You've come to Dawnstar at a strange time, friend. Seems everyone in the town is having nightmares. It's a curse. It has to be. I I've got to get out of this town. Irgner, get a hold of yourself. They're just dreams. Please tell her, Erandur. Listen to your friend, Fugi. They are just dreams, my dear. I assure you that it is quite normal. It's the same dream over and over again. You think that's normal? It's evil, I tell you. Erandur, she has a point. You keep telling us no harm will follow these dreams, but they must be an omen. Give him a chance to speak. He's trying to help us. Everyone, please. I'm doing what I can to end these nightmares. In the meantime, all I ask is you remain strong and put your trust in Lady Mara. I, I will. Thank you. The Wind Peak Inn features the finest bard What troubles you, my son? Maybe. The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. These dreams are manifestations created by the Daedric Lord, Vermina. She has an awful hunger for our memories. In return, she leaves behind nightmares, not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. I must end her terrible influence over these people before the damage becomes permanent. Father, do you want to talk? About I need mother? to return to the source no. of the problem. To Nightcaller Temple. I'm sure she Perhaps you'd be happy. willing to assist me in that regard. And drinking and making your lewd jokes like before. I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. From her citadel at the center, she reaches forth to collect our memories, leaving nothing in return apart from visions of horror and despair. Who can say? Perhaps she collects them for display like works of art in a nonsensical art gallery. Whatever the case may be, her intentions are far from benevolent. I promise to answer all of your questions. Follow me. Finally, have a chance to help these people. Helplessly watching them suffer has been difficult. The tower on that hill is our destination. People around here call it the Tower of the Dawn. raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. They were being plagued by nightmares just like the people of Dawnstar. 
Before we enter, years ago, this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. They were being plagued by nightmares just like the people of Dawnstar. No. Knowing they could never defeat the orcs, the priests of Vermina released what they called the Miasma, putting everyone to sleep. I'm concerned that when this place is unsealed, the Miasma will dissipate and they'll awaken, both orcs and priests alike. Once we get inside, all will become clear. Give me just a moment, and I'll have this open. Now I can show you the source of the nightmares. Over here. Behold the skull of corruption, the source of Dawnstar's woes. We must reach the inner sanctum and destroy it. Come, there's no time to lose. must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. Impossible, actually. I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier, but I must check their library and confirm it can be done. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest at Vermina. When the orcs invaded the temple, I fled. I left my brothers and sisters here to die. I've spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption for Mara. And by her benevolence, I will right my wrongs. I still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. Mustn't tear it. The skull needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. Be careful. We're certain to find more of the awakened within.
Barring any more interruptions, perhaps we can locate the information I need. Barring any more interruptions, perhaps we can locate... We're looking for a book of alchemical recipes called The Dream Stride. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. If you'll check the shelves around the balcony, I'll check around the lower level. Yes, my son. Let me take a look. More will be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner sanctum. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as Vermina's Torpor. Yes, the Torpor grants an ability the priests of Vermina called the Dream Stride, using dreams to travel distances in the real world. Quite amazing, yes. Alchemy and the blessings of a divine distilled down into a ingestible liquid. Sadly, I have yet to see it function in person. Uh, as a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina or the unaffiliated. I will not lie to you. There is some risk involved. The last time the torpor was imbibed could have been decades ago. But I swear upon Lady Mara that I will do everything within my power to prevent any harm from befalling you. I believe there is a laboratory in the East Wing. If we proceed there, we should be able to locate a sample. The laboratory adjoins the library. I'm hoping we'll find a sample of the torpor left undamaged. Should be in a small bottle, very similar to a potion. Yes, my son. What is it I can help with? Yes, my son. What is it I can help with? I'm relieved you discovered a bottle intact. This place looks as though it was ransacked by the orcs. So, I've taken us this far, but you need to guide us the rest of the way. Drink. Dawnstar's fate rests in that tiny bottle. The longer we wait, the more damage Vermina could be doing to those poor people. I understand your hesitation, but I promise you that it works. Let's continue. The orcs have breached the inner sanctum, Brother Varen. We must hold. We can't allow the skull to fall into their hands. But 
No more than a handful of us remain, brother. Then we have no choice. The miasma must be released. The miasma? But brother... We have no alternative. It's the will of Vermina. And what about you, Brother Casimir? Are you prepared to serve the will of Vermina? Then it's decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Brother Thorin, we must remain here and guard this skull with our lives if necessary. Agreed. To the death. Worked. Mara be praised. You vanished after drinking the torpor and materialized on the other side. I've never seen anything quite like it. How I envy you. I can only imagine the excitement of seeing history through the eyes of another. Sadly, I am resigned to just reading of its wonders through my research of the skull. Indeed. My reverence for Vermina's machinations should not take precedence over our mission. My apologies. The inner sanctum lies ahead. We must reach the skull and put an end to Dawnstar's troubles. Lead on, my friend. Never should have come here. Thanks to you, Casimir. I no longer use that name. I'm Miranda, priest of Mara. You're a traitor. You left us to die and then ran before the miasma took you. 
No, I, I was scared. I wasn't ready to sleep. Enough of your lies. I can't allow you to destroy the skull, priest of Mara. Then you leave me no choice. Take friends. Is this punishment for my past? Is it Mara's will to torment me so? Yes, you're right. If they needed to die so that Dawnstar could live, then it was worth the price. It's time. The skull must be destroyed. If you'll stand back, I'll perform the ritual granted to me by Lady Mara. First, an incantation to remove the barrier. I call upon you, Lady Mara. The skull hungers. It yearns for memories and leaves nightmares in its wake. Grant me the power to break through this barrier and to send the skull to the depths of oblivion. He's deceiving you. When the ritual's complete, the skull will be free, and then Parinder will turn on you. Quickly, kill him now. Kill him and claim the skull for your own. Vermina commands you. Forgive me if I don't appear relieved. This temple has taken its toll on me. In time, I believe I will. I'd constructed a meager shrine tomorrow in the antechamber where we entered. My intention was to spend the rest of my years here, burying the past and praying for forgiveness. But instead, I wish to offer my services to you. If you ever wish to journey with me, I'll be here. There's no need to thank me. What you did was for the people of Dawnstar. If anyone should be thanked, it should be you. It's time. The skull must be destroyed. If you'll stand back. I knew Varen and Thoric. They were my friends. Is this punishment for my past? Is it Mara's will to torment me so? First, an incantation to remove the barrier. I call upon you, Lady Mara. The skull hungers. It yearns for memories and leaves nightmares in its wake. Grant me the power to break through this barrier to send the skull to the depths of oblivion. He's deceiving you. When the ritual's complete, the skull will be free, and then Parinder will turn on you. Quickly, kill him now. Kill him and claim the skull for your own. Vermina commands you. <laughs> 